Good morning guys. So today we are going to show you the Indulge Food Hall on the NCL Prima. This place looks absolutely amazing. Yes. This is one of the things before we came on the ship ourselves, um, we'd heard about and we just thought, wow, yep. we, we know we're gonna love this hopefully. Yeah. But it looks great. It's like a it's like a mini food court. Mm. And I've just not heard of this concept on any other cruise ship or with any other cruise line before. So we um it sounds like a great idea, but we're gonna put the food to the test and see if it tastes yes. good. So we're gonna start with breakfast. Yeah. And then there's a gap and then the, the evening, the late lunch and dinner ones, which we will show you after breakfast yeah. starts then. So you hungry? Very. Let's go. We're in the food hall now. So this is breakfast, like I said, this isn't table service, we'll explain more to you uh, when we sit down. So you have to come physically come to each place and each place has got a different item. So Coco's looks like it's just uh, pastries. Yeah, so you just self-service yourself a load of pastries there. Morning. And then noodles, looks like it's oatmeal. Uh, cream of wheat and grits and a few toppings there and just next to that the ice cream section looks like it's got a few different little pastries muffins another danish and then some fruit for you to get there and then at the dessert counter you've got some ready-made muesli some just little bowls of fruit a few different milks and yogurts and then you've just got some little boxes of cereal that you can uh, pick and choose from then at the garden you've got some ready-made muffins you've got a, an egg pork patty and cheese muffin and then just an egg and cheese muffin you just grab and take those ones at the texas steakhouse you've got different types of scrambled eggs so you've got scrambled eggs with country potatoes you've got chili con carne scrambled eggs with country potatoes and then you've got chili con carne scrambled eggs with hash browns then at the seaside rotisserie you've got some ready-made egg white spinach wraps with cheese and egg white spinach wraps with avocado they also do a smoked salmon bagel upon request then at the tomorrow station you've got some croissant sandwiches you've got croissant with omelette and cheese and then a croissant with ham and cheese omelette and then just to let you know not every station that serves food at night has got food in the day so the latin quarter and the little tapas truck don't have any food for breakfast they do have a beverage station this is self-serve so in the mornings it's different than uh, the evening menu they've got iced tea apple juice cranberry juice cocktail and apple juice they have a selection of different teas there a whole thing of whole milk sugars honey you've got some decaf uh, coffee hot water in the middle and then just regular coffee there at the end also uh, a water and ice machine and they do have a pour yourself a coke machine i think you just scan your card against there and uh, pour yourself a coke now obviously this will charge you unless you've got a drinks package i'm guessing so make sure you're aware of that and then they do have a table of sauces so you've got ketchup mustard soy sauces and i did yes some HP sauce if you like that with your breakfast. So we're sat down now with breakfast. This is a really good place to come, whether that's on sea days or port days, because it just tends to be pretty quiet. I mean, this ship is not far off full when we're on it, and we've never struggled to find a place to eat for breakfast. I think a lot of people on here prefer maybe the buffet. The, the buffet's always been really full. That, yeah, that's always been uh, absolutely jam-packed but yeah this is a great little spot for just a few grab and go pieces we're on an iceland and norway cruise and i nipped out there this morning and it is pretty cold but there's a lovely seating area as well so if you are on a warmer cruise you can make the most of the lovely outdoor area as well right so opening times now for the indulge food hall for breakfast to be honest it's been different every day of the cruise depending on whether you've got port days or sea days one day we should have been in a port but it got cancelled so then the times ended up changing for that for breakfast so i won't get too specific with details just because they may not be the same when you're on board what i would say is just always check your freestyle daily magazine right so i've just picked up from the little pastry section a cinnamon muffin all the pastries to be honest have been nice on this ship so it feels like really soft 
and I've also grabbed a croissant, a egg and I was going to say egg ham and cheese I didn't have the ham one just the egg and cheese croissant and again these were just available to just grab it's still nice and warm which is a good sign because it's nice when your croissant's nice and warm hopefully still crispy though on the outside yeah that's a decent um, breakfast croissant it is crispy on the outside but nice and gooey it's not dry or anything like that and it's just got it's got plenty of egg and cheese on there so first first little round of food uh, I had the egg cheese chili hash brown bowl. It smells though delicious. I'm getting like chili flavors. And also, look at that for a chunk of beef. Mm. See, I was thinking about that, but I wasn't sure as a breakfast item because it had oh, the beef chili no. in. The beef makes it. The beef chili makes it. I've never had chili and eggs before, like scrambled Ooh. eggs. I'm loving this. This is like delicious. And I it, think that for me, that'd be more like for lunch. No, because the ash browns and the egg kind of make it breakfasty. The chili just gives it a nice. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. The chili is giving it like a really nice savoury kick. Uh, it's not like a spicy chili. Do you call this a breakfast chili? I don't know, but it's delicious. Right, so I've persuaded Stacey to try some. She was a bit. I'm still not sure. No. But here goes. It is nice. See. I'm still not sure for breakfast. More like a brunch. No, okay, we'll, set, we'll settle on brunch yeah, slash elevensies. Brunch slash slash elevensies. Yeah, it is nice though. Oh yeah, with the egg. I've never thought I'd have beef chili with eggs. Right, so I'm just washing mine down with a little chocolate milk that you can grab. Quite nice actually. <laughs> and then I've just grabbed um, a freshly toasted bagel and some salmon and a few little. It comes with a bit of salad. Um, also over there, you can just ask for a bagel and I think they also did toast as well. And they had some jams or jellies, whatever you want to call them, but I thought I'd make a little cream cheese and salmon bite. Can't go wrong with smoked salmon and a bagel. And personally, I like my bagel toast a little bit more. You could ask him to put you in again. It goes through one of them like convey about ones. You could ask him to put you in again for a few more seconds. He's lot will do anything for you, so yeah delicious so that's the breakfast items available in the indulge food hall so we will be back for lunch and dinner and we'll show you all the food available for that because let me just tell you there is food galore in here and one thing you will need that you didn't have to use for breakfast is this tablet here where you just order away to your heart's content so we will be back and we will be doing that for you guys right so we're back inside the indulge food hall now and we're here for dinner you just basically seat yourself down somewhere you don't have to wait for a waiter or anything like that if you sit down at one of the tables you can order from any of the food stations via your tablet some of the food stations have individual seating around that station if you sit at one of those you can only order from that particular station so if you sat at the seaside rotisserie that's the right of me you could only order from there you then couldn't sit there and order anything from the curry one yeah so they do a lunch menu and a dinner menu some of the places for lunch and dinner are exactly the same and some are different the ones that are the same are the tapas the garden the latin quarter and coco's now coco's is the one where you purchase desserts but the other ones um, are the same for both lunch and dinner. So some stuff does change, some stuff doesn't. And whilst we've been on board this two week cruise, it's been the same all throughout those two weeks. So it doesn't change from one week to another. So just bear those things in mind. I will put some menus on now, um, just to show you what kind of food you can get for lunch and what food you can get for dinner as well. There's a good choice out there, but I will explain to you a little bit more about the tablet in a minute. Right, so it's half past five, so the tablets have turned on, all the menus are up. So I'll just show you quickly. So on your left-hand side here, we'll call them individual restaurants. So you've got your individual restaurants where you can order and have them delivered to your table. And then there's also drinks, but we won't get into that, okay? So I'll just do this as a quick example. So I will order a cob salad. Now, some things can be customised and some things can't. So if you just wanted a straight-up cob salad, now you click order. I want to add some extra what they call the garden proteins on this one okay so you can see there there's flank steak black and tuna teriyaki tofu and chicken so I think I'll add some chicken onto it so as you see there it's popped up chicken 
and then I click add this to my order. So confirm that you want the chicken adding to your salad and you'll see there on the right hand side you've got your order column and it's been added to there. So let's go, I know it says I want to pay, don't worry about that, you don't have to pay for anything, okay? So it says placing your order, now click no tips and then that's it, it's ordered. The one problem with this is there's no confirmation that your order has been placed. So there's been a couple times when we've ordered and uh, we're, we're not sure if it has ordered, if it's coming or what. So once you've blessed, yeah, no tip, it is ordered. <laughs> but just uh, another quick tip as well is stuff doesn't necessarily come out in the order that it's been ordered on the tablet. So maybe don't order it a load in one go. Yeah. Just if you want something now, just eat that first and then order something else afterwards. Because to be honest, all the times that we've eaten in, eaten in here, which has been quite a few times, stuff isn't that long anyway. It, it is pretty quick that it comes out. So, so you're not sitting here with loads of food. Take your time and just order what you want to eat first. Two things that we've noticed that can take a little bit of time, but that's because they are made fresh is the chips yes or the steak fries the big chunky chips and the naan bread because that's made fresh as well and don't forget like kev showed you on the tablet a charge doesn't come up for this it is all included in your cruise fare here's a little tip for you if you definitely want a lot of steak fries order two portions as stacy's doing oh yeah you can do the quantity there for some of them you can yeah so order two and if they take a little while come and you want them for a couple dishes that you're going to have spread out then order them first and they come piping hot so they will stay hot for a little bit longer and maybe do you a couple of dishes. Yeah so just like that the first chicken salad that I ordered has arrived. We have ordered a few more things but just to let you know as well you do have knives and forks and napkins already at the table so you don't have to go and fetch them from somewhere else. Yeah so I've just been to the beverage station and grabbed two of the complimentary flavoured waters they're all right actually you don't have to pay for them so it washes down the food so i've just been messing around on the tablet and i've just discovered this there is a section where it says you can enter your name at the top it's like say if you customize something like there there's a section it says name and you don't need to put your name in for anything because they know which table you've ordered it from so maybe you could customize something in there so kev if you write say no blue cheese there you go so it's a way of customising your order if it doesn't bring up an option of, say, knocking the blue cheese off. Right, so about five minutes after ordering, the steak cut fries and the garlic naan has come, but nothing else. So this is what Stacey was moaning about, where you order stuff and it doesn't all come out at the same yeah, time. Yeah, so obviously we've ordered that to have with the curry. The curry just might be a few minutes. It's nothing, it's not like your curry comes 20 minutes later. But this garlic naan, let me just say, I've already had it quite a few times before filming this video and it is absolutely delicious. Now they actually cook the garlic naan bread in a tandoor oven. Uh, we've got a clip of them actually uh, cooking them because it's through like a see-through screen and they are just, they are absolutely amazing. If you like your garlic naan bread, it's particularly very garlicky. So literally, just as I was saying that and we were saying it's been five minutes since the first lot came out, the curries have just arrived. So that's what I mean I'm literally talking minutes it doesn't take too long at all but like say it's not necessarily in the order of what you do it on the iPad now uh, we've had a, it might seem a feast but we haven't really had anything eat all day we've okay? gone for a curry theming, I'll just, theming to start off with I'll just do that quick and then we'll show you everything a bit more better well Kev said to me what do you fancy I said I think I'm gonna go for a curry and then Kev was like yeah I fancy a curry as well so quite a lot here so I've gone for the chicken tikka masala um, they do a really nice chicken korma but that isn't available at dinner time that's only available at lunch time I'll pop a picture over um, of the chicken korma but I have had that as well and that's very nice but he goes for the chicken tikka masala so that chicken is so delicious it's really juicy and obviously it's chicken tikka and that's also been done in the tandoor oven and it is prop it's like a proper if you go to a curry house like the, the chicken there it is really really tasty and obviously um, you know the chicken tikka masala it's, it is a bit spicy but i don't think it's a spicy curry in general is it it's no. got a little bit but it's um it's quite mild it's very creamy tomato based it's oh it's just delicious so i'm going to try the garlic naan like i said i've tried this loads of times it is nice now they only do the garlic naan bread at dinner time not at lunch time now i will just show you the bottom of one of these garlic naans where you can see where it's 
stuck to the tandoor and got all gnarly and crispy. Oh, it's so nice. Got that crispy bottom, but the top of it is like pillowy and soft. And then it's got the, it's gooey with like the garlic butter on there. That is really as delicious garlic naan bread. Right, so I've had the Chetanand marinated fish. One thing, it doesn't say what fish it is. So, but it does say, and they always ask you if you've got any food allergies. So if you needed to specifically know what fish it was, I'm sure they'd find out and tell you. But this looks delicious. It's a coconut creamy curry. Oh, it's got three huge chunks of fish in there. Oh, it smells a little bit cormery, Stace. Oh, Matty, put some of me garlic naan bread in your sauce. That's melted away. That fish is delicate. It's soft. I put it on my tongue and I put my tongue on the roof of my mouth and it's gone away. Absolutely stunning. Can I have a dip in your sauce then? Go on then. Yeah, and we had some uh, vegetable pakoras. I think these are literally just slices of green bell pepper. Comes with a, a tamarind chutney, that's very delicious. And then we had some poppadoms. I'm sure everybody knows what poppadom is, but it comes with this uh, onion relish. This would be absolutely delicious on a burger. I said that to Stacey the other day, and it, oh, it's so nice. Um, I know we obviously we've had chips with our curry, uh, but the, there is rice on there as well, because I know that's what you traditionally have, but uh, it, it is on there. So we've just both completely polished the lot off. I'm just eating the last uh, few chunky chips that are left, but the ship's uh, rocking a little bit now, actually. But in the name of science, Kev has been dedicating himself to you guys, just in the name of uh, research, and we've ordered a few more items. Uh, and he's going to try them for you. I don't think I could stomach anything else because I'm completely stuffed. Oh. Corey's really filling, and oh. then I ate nearly two whole ga garlic naan breads to myself because he brought three. So, yeah, Kev, you're going to have to take one for the team well, and try them. Stop eating the chips then. I know I like the chips. We've got like tasty stuff coming, and I'm going to finish off the chips, but. I can't stomach anything else. It was delicious though. We'll put a few uh, more clips over now of other food items that we've had at lunch and then other dinner items uh, that we've had as well that we're obviously not trying tonight because we can't try everything. The other foods come. I don't, I'm not even hungry, but I'm gonna try it. So we've had fried green tomatoes, 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 however you say it. So I've never had these and I've always wanted to try them and they're burning hot. They're okay. I know it's a big thing in some places, but it's just like a thinly breadcrumbed fried tomato. So there's not much to say about that one, really. It's it's all right. But then this is the main one, this one, the beef tenderloin. I was just saying, how often do you get it when food comes out, uh, look at that, and it looks better than what it actually does on the picture where you ordered oh. it from. As soon as that came out, I said to Kev, I know I said I didn't want anything, I might have to have a piece of that. That is so soft, and it's cooked to a nice medium, buttery soft cutting through it as well. That is delicious. Oh, it's so soft. It's got that nice crust on the outside. It is cooked in one of those um, Brazilian steakhouse kind of ovens, you know, where they put it on the big skewer and they put it on the, the little rotisserie bit sideways and the, the heat comes from all the angles. Oh, we need to go on them Brazilian steakhouse estates with the red and green cards because if let's, it's like this. Let's go. When we get home. When we get go. home, yeah. We are absolutely stuffed, but we will show you the desserts. Now, we won't try any, but they are mostly uh, just the same as kind of ones you get in the buffet, but you just literally grab and uh, go with the desserts. So tonight you've got like a lemon mousse, uh, almond pistachio honey cake and then you've got a strawberry mousse over there and then a little n meringue nest as well so literally just come and get what you want take it back to the table and devour it right so i hope that's give you a good idea of what food is available at the indulge food hall like i said before probably one of our favorite places to eat the food is really nice great quality and as you can see from the screen that we showed you plenty of choice to pick from and I think it's a great concept they've got going with this food all it's definitely the first cruise ship that we've been on where they've got this in place it certainly makes a difference from just your main dining room and your buffet but there's plenty more other videos to come from the Norwegian Prima so stay tuned for them so thanks for watching let us know in the comments what you think about the food for what we've shown you if you've cruised on here yourselves 
and yeah anything you'd like to talk about just let us know in the comments below but i'm completely stuffed so is kev so it's goodbye from us see you in the next video